I'd always wanted to make a discovery in terms of going out and digging up a dinosaur fossil, but I'd never in a million years thought that I would be able to dig up a new species of dinosaur. Hi, my name is Jared Voris. I am a PhD student in paleontology here in the Department of Geoscience at the University of Calgary. What excites me most about my work is probably the fact that I get to go out and look for these fossils of animals that are no longer around or that we don't have any remnants of or anything like what they were, to study them and try to understand more about their biology, more about what they were like is a very amazing experience. Back in 2008, a rancher by the name of John DeGroote was walking along the shore of the Bow River with his family and they came across these jawbones of one of those giant bone-crushing dinosaurs. At the time, he didn't realize quite how important that fossil was, but he gave it to the Royal Trail Museum for safekeeping and storage. It wasn't until 2019 that I came across this particular fossil and realized that it had features that were unlike anything that we'd seen in any other Tyrannosaur fossil that has been found before. This was an entirely new species of Tyrannosaur. One of the cool things about being a paleontologist and making discovery of a new species is that you get to name it. Of course, we had to give it some interesting name, something cool and something fun to say. So we settled on the name Thanatotheristes and we thought this was perfect for an animal that would have had these giant powerful teeth and powerful jaws that could have crushed and cut through bone. And after studying it for so long, what we realized is that it's very likely to be an ancestor to some of the other Tyrannosaurus species that we see later on. So things like T-Rex, this Thanatotheristes could very well be the ancestor to that species. As a scientist, it's interesting and so much fun to be a part of discovery, to, to make a contribution to the world, to, to our knowledge. And so to be able to add to that is just a fantastic, phenomenal experience. If you're interested in paleontology specifically, one of the best ways to get into that field is to go to museums, learn about all these different animals and plants that used to live, and potentially even in some cases, you can even go out to places where there are fossils and look for fossils yourself. Even still today, we're making discoveries all the time. New dinosaur species and new other prehistoric animal species are being described every month, in some cases even on a weekly basis. There's still tons and tons of discoveries to be made, and I urge anyone who's interested in paleontology to go ahead and get into it.